So my daughter took a Sharpie and colored seven cabinets this morning with these beautiful artwork. And so I'm just gonna share what I've done. I tried all sorts of things. WD-40, hairspray, lemon essential oils, um, good old magic race. This was new when I started, but you can see it's well used today. Anyway, and I don't have another one, so I'm just gonna keep using it. They do work better when they're new, so. <laughs> but we'll just show you here. Uh, so what I found the best is rubbing alcohol and a magic eraser. And I'm just gonna show you what I've done. The other ones took me quite a bit of time, but I feel like the, the last one I did, the sixth one, didn't take very long. And this is the last and seventh one. So we'll see how long it takes on here. And I'll uh, kind of just do it real time so you can see what you might be in for. But tried a number of things. This is the best <laughs> so far. And I just have the rag that I've been using. It's in pretty bad shape. But anyway, I have a little rubbing alcohol in here. So I'm just going to dip. And what you want to do is take the, there's kind of a surface film with this with these magic erasers and you want to get that off because it as you can see it starts to bleed bleed out onto the cabinet so you know the first ones I kind of wiped and it just smeared it all over the cabinet so that was not good because then it's just more to clean so you can get this kind of black ink I guess it would be off the surface and then what you're going to be left with is just the stuff that's soaked in so it's it's less to deal with and then the less smudging you have obviously the easier and less to clean so that was trial and error because as you can see I'm still smudging it but there's not much you can do to avoid that you kind of just gotta the least the least you can smudge it I think that's what we're going for So yeah, you just want it to get clean spot on your rag every time, just because yeah, as you can see the ink, it just will smear around and it's, uh, it just makes a lot more to clean. So get that surface ink off first. As you can see on the rag, it makes a big mess. So mildly better, obviously still a ways to go here. And then, yeah, all I was doing was dip this also in the rubbing alcohol. And I didn't notice that it did any kind of surface damage yet. I mean, I haven't inspected them fully, but I think no different than a magic eraser. So as you can see, it comes off quite easily. And no joke, the first cabinet was a good hour <laughs> scrubbing and trial. So I hope if this can help you to speed the process. I think I've got it down now. Okay. The seventh and hopefully last cabinet for a while. And then just dip as needed. I just keep the rag here so that, um, and obviously if your rag is too dirty, you'd want to wash it in between. But I just keep the rag because I don't want it running into the crack of the cabinet. It caused more damage. You just never know. <laughs> So 
looking so much better already. And then, yeah, I just kind of, I can see some blue marks still. And I, I am going to go get new magic erasers and mm -hmm. give this another scrub down. But I wanted to get it off as soon as possible. So I'm do the majority of the scrubbing now. And I think it looks pretty good. And very fast in comparison to how I started this morning. And I thought I was gonna be here all day, but I figured it out. It's not even noon yet. And seven cabinets, almost brand new. So, rubbing alcohol, magic eraser. Be your best friend with a Sharpie. But of course, do a test area if you're on, you know, like a varnish surface or something because you just never know what, if it'll peel the surface off.